Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my July favorites for you guys, but this favorites is going to be a little different. I am going to be telling you guys what I loved this month and what I did not like this month. So I guess my hits and misses of the month of July. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, then let me know down in the comments and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week. So enough talking, let's jump right into the video. The first thing I wanna start off by talking about are these V2 eye masks. And I have really dry under eye areas that are very prone to getting dry and crusty, fine lines and wrinkles. So when I heard about these oxygen face masks, I was really excited to try them. They come six in a box and they are individually wrapped. This is what the eye mask looks like and you get two of them, you just place them right underneath your eyes and they stick onto your face. I really like this because you're supposed to wear them for eight hours and the sticking power of these is really great because it actually does last on your eyes overnight. And it's just like this very sticky, like jelly consistency and I am a crazy sleeper. I toss and turn. I am all over the place and these stayed on my eyes a full eight hours so I was really really impressed by this. I did notice that my eyes felt more plump and hydrated and I didn't see as many fine lines as I usually would when I would wake up and not use these face masks. I do think they give that added hydration and they do reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles by adding that hydration underneath your eyes so I was really impressed with these eye masks. I'd highly recommend them. The next thing I want to talk about is a face mask and this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Facial Mask. I love this face mask. I didn't even know Shea Moisture made face masks until I was in Ulta the other day and I saw this and I was like, hmm, hydrating face mask for dry skin? Hand it over. I was, Shea Moisture is like my ride or die brand. And this is the consistency. If you guys have ever tried their Shea Butter hair mask, it's the exact same consistency and it smells just like it. So if I know it does have a strong smell, the hair mask. I don't mind the smell personally, but if you don't like that smell, then you're probably not going to like this mask because it is the exact same smell and the exact same consistency, but I've just put this on my face, let it dry. I could even probably get away with wearing this overnight, but it did really make my skin feel hydrated. I loved that it didn't break me out. I was really, really impressed with this face mask, so if you guys are interested in trying a new face mask, I highly recommend the Shea Moisture brand. I had a friend who tried the charcoal one and she really, really liked that one as well. So definitely a favorite of mine this month. The next thing I wanna talk about are the Derma Doctor Vitamin C Peel Pads. These are the intensive vitamin C peel pads with fluoric acid and vitamin E. E. They come individually wrapped in this box and it comes with 30 pre-moistened towelettes. And I tried this on my face and I was really nervous about trying any sort of peeling product on my skin because I've watched a bunch of peel videos and it terrifies me like your skin molting, literally it molting off. But for me personally, I wanted to try something out that was a lot more mild to see if a peel would even agree with my skin because I do have crazy sensitive skin. So I was really excited to try these out. I just put it all over my face, let it sit for three minutes or maybe a little more because let's be honest, I'm not timing it. Um, and I just rinse it off and then the next morning my skin is super soft and I do notice a difference in the texture of my skin and it's very, very mild. So if you guys are looking for a peel that is very, very mild, I recommend you checking out the Derm Doctor. The next two products I want to talk about are eyelashes and the first one is the House of Lashes. These are in the style Heartbreaker. And I was like, you know what? I've been wearing Red Cherry number 43s and Christina number 43s because they're made by the same factory, wink, wink. I've been using those lashes forever. I'm like, I need to switch it up. I need to try, I need to up my lash game. So I tried out these House of Lashes lashes and I have been wearing them for the past couple weekends and I really do like them. They're a very glamorous going out lash. If you are new to lashes, I wouldn't recommend you buying these because they are a very glamorous lash, but I really like them. And the second eyelash brand 
is from Social Eyes, and this is Carissa Pukas's line from YouTube, and I love Carissa Pukas. This is her eyelash brand, and I was really excited to try them out, and I know they've been around for a while now, but I don't know why I'm so late to the bandwagon, but I was really excited to try these. I got them in a pack of three from Amazon, and these are in the style Vixen, and that's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now, as you guys can see. They're probably falling off right now, yeah, because I used really bad glue. Eh, eh, eh. I really like these. Um, I This is my first time trying them out, and I was really impressed. So these are cruelty-free vegan eyelashes, which I love. So if you guys are looking for some new eyelashes, definitely check her line out. The next few things I want to talk about are hair-related products. And the first one I want to talk about is this Diva Curl no poo zero lather conditioning cleanser this stuff is amazing i was really impressed with this this can be pretty pricey but this is worth it in my personal opinion my hair can feel very weighed down sometimes with the amount of product that i use and this is perfect to use in between washes because i only wash my hair like once every two weeks or something like that like wash my hair with shampoo not co-washing and this is perfect it will last me way longer than just doing it every two weeks just using this and you don't have to use a lot it does make my hair feel very clean and very voluminous and just fresh after using it but it doesn't make my hair feel stripped of any oils or things like that it doesn't make my hair feel dry like shampoo does i just hate that feeling this stuff is great i love this stuff so if you guys are looking for a good no poo or cleansing conditioner i highly recommend this one i was really really impressed by it the next product line i want to talk about in hair care is the curls line this is the blueberry bliss curl control jelly and this is the blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner i love these two they smell like blue jolly ranchers the smell alone will make you want to buy these now these are kind of pricey for drugstore in my personal opinion but they were running a cartwheel and they were running a sale so these do run on sale so don't give up hope if these are out of your price range trust me i get it but these are amazing this gives a great slip it does make my hair feel very moisturized, shiny, healthy, hydrated, everything you would want in a leave-in conditioner, really, this gives you. And it smells like Blue Jolly Ranchers again. This one, amazing, amazing definition. I put this in, I finger coiled my hair, and my hair was shiny. My hair had amazing hold, but it had amazing hold, but didn't feel crunchy. My hair just felt soft and defined find and my curls my curls using this stuff looked the best I personally think they've ever looked and that's not an exaggeration and they did not send this to me I bought this with my hard-earned money at Target like I said but I I honestly think that this stuff using it is the best hair gel that I have ever used it, it I was blown away with how it made my curls look I really was I would a hundred and 50% keep rebuying this because this is, it is that good. I mean, uh, hmm, it just smells so good, man. The next thing I wanna talk about is this hair massager. This is like a scalp massager slash hair in the comb. My scalp has been crazy itchy and I don't know why it's been crazy itchy but it has. But I bought this thing I was like oh I'm checking out at Ulta and this Denman brush looks really cool like that looks like it would be very soothing and amazing for my scalp at the moment so let's buy it. And this thing is just like amazing it just gets all up in your scalp. It is just so nice oh my gosh. I also use this in the shower when I'm massaging my scalp it works wonders the only thing I can say is that don't get too crazy with this brush because it will kind of like mat your hair a little bit so just be warned the next thing I want to talk about is probably my number one non-beauty related thing I think it's my only non-beauty related thing so it's my favorite nonetheless is this diffuser this is from Vanity Planet and I will show you how it works. I don't know if you guys can see that mess. Oh, you can see it, yes! As you can see, this lovely mist humidifier thing, it's just so heavenly. I've been diffusing lavender and eucalyptus essential oils. I sleep like a baby 
throughout the whole entire night. It is just the most wonderful thing. It is so calming, so relaxing. Sometimes I will just come home after work, put this on and just like lay in my bed. You know, sometimes when you just have to lay, lay down, you know, you need to re regroup. That's, I just put this on. It is the most calming thing. I can get my life together. I can zen. It's just amazing. And then you have these little lights. You can pick from which color light that you like. I love the red light or you can just turn it off and you have options to do 120 minutes, 60 minutes, or 30 minute intervals. I always do 120 minutes because I love this thing. I've been using it every night and that's not an exaggeration. I am obsessed with this thing. I love it so, so much. I don't know how I was living my life without one before and I love how small it is because my room is really small. I can put it right on my nightstand, right by my head and diffuse it. When I go to bed, I wake up in the morning so calm and refreshed, ready to deal with the day. I know a lot of people aren't into this stuff, but it really personally, in my opinion, does make a difference. I do feel a lot more calm. I do feel a lot more rested and the eucalyptus, especially with my allergies, has been helping so much. I love this because there's an essential oil for everything. If you're stressed, if you're having a hard time sleeping, there is an essential oil that's going to help you through whatever you're going through. And I do have a discount code for you guys. This is 50% off with the discount code BONDBEAUTY. This retails for $60, and with the 50% off coupon code, you would get it for $30. And again, guys, I love this thing. I honestly use it every single night. If Vanity Planet hadn't have sent this to me, I would have bought one. So if you guys are looking to get one of your very own, then check out Vanity Planet. I will have all the information and the coupon code if you guys forgot down in the description box so you guys can check it out. And now for my miss of the month. Now this isn't for this month. This is like a subscription box and the miss of the month would have to be the birch box. And let me tell you why. Honestly, I just came to the conclusion that I don't like it and it's not worth my money, so I wouldn't feel right recommending it to you guys to purchase. And this is the birch box and these are the items that come in the box minus a hairspray. It was like a little can of hairspray. Um, so you receive two makeup wipes a mini size of a face mask and this lip color right here but here is the color of this lip pencil it's like a pinky color like i don't know if i'd wear that out but i mean i guess for the lipstick it was it's a decent size but i thought it was going to be a little more customizable i thought they were going to customize it to my needs or the interests that i have and it didn't really seem that way and you also get a 20% off coupon code in here. In my personal opinion, this box just seemed like something that I could go to Sephora or Ulta and ask them for a couple samples and they would give me. I would have to say that this is 100% a miss for me this month. This box was from a couple months ago. And let me know if you guys have tried out Birchbox and what your experience was with them. I would love to know because I only had one month of this box, so I can't speak for any other months of the box, but this month I was not impressed with and did it make me want to continue with the service? No. And that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my July hits and misses. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.